matches. Okay. Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Yes. I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. Oh. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? Sure. Well, we're supposed to be friends. Friends are, friends are supposed to worry about each other. Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-deck. Yep. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? Uh... What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? I know it's weird, but there has to be a reason for it. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Exactly. Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? Exactly. You're accusing me of not telling you the whole truth. But I'm saying exactly the same as you. So I could accuse you of the same thing. You mean like the number of men I've dated? No. <laughs> I don't care. Do you want to know? <sighs> don't worry. Only 18. 18? Yeah. Time zero. Ah. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yep. Yeah, I do. Well, that's what I'm saying. What does everyone that we've met have in common? I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. Maybe? You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh, um... Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? Doubt it. Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. Oh, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I barely remember any of them from my school. It's a light blue blanket with some designs on it. Someone's made the bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets under the blanket, nothing exciting. Look, there's two pillows right next to each other. I guess it's a double. Ah, what's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is her fe fever back? Hey, are you alright? Do you need to lay down for a minute? I'm fine. I think it's still a little early for that. Huh? Hey, seriously, are you really okay? A bit free. Now we don't have to worry about falling off. I toss and turn when I sleep. Now we don't need to worry about when... What? She's blushing again. What in... What the hell is she thinking about? This isn't a painting. It is... It, is it a map? It looks like a map of the ship's interior. 
Ooh. Oh, this is great fun. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. It is now possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Clicking the green parts of the floor plan will allow you to see a bird's eye view of that room. This ship is bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. That is a huge ship. 900 feet, it's like 300 meters. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Even 100 meters would be a gigantic ship. Do you remember what Zero said? Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Maybe? Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. I think the the reason for saying that is the time the Titanic took to sink and referring it to the ship you're on now is sinking. But instead of having two hours, 40 minutes, you've got nine hours. But it might have something different in common with Titanic. There was three ships made at the same time as well titanic was the first of the three but three identical ships were made like the titanic a second one of them also sunk i believe if i remember right and the other one is still being used today could be wrong but i think that was right hmm do you think this boat is... Can't be a, the actual Titanic. Might not be a replica. Might actually be one of the other ships identical to Titanic, though. A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. No way. Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. Millions, I would think. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? Probably would. It's the site of the worst accident in history. I wouldn't quite say the worst accident in the history. It was bad, but there has been worse. <sighs> Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? Sure, I do. Yeah, well, um, I, I guess so. I, to a certain extent. Yeah, to a certain extent, I do. Uh, what about you? No, nah, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Hmm. Yes, I do believe in curses. Yeah, I thought so. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. What? A curse sank the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Okay. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? No. 
So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! That mummy, the priestess, supposedly, she was special. What do you mean? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Pretty? Yes. But she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Okay? Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I, I, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And Yes, saponification. But that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. What? They're frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Yep. Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. Maybe. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Uh, what? Huh? Th nah, that seems too silly to be true. Yeah. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. W well, yeah, um... Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something like that really... No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. They probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower together? What? Where did that come from? What? Just kidding. Too late to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. Okay. It's a bottle with some water in it. I doubt it'll be that useful. A wooden cupboard. There are cups inside, surprising no one. Nothing else. It's light, even if it's heavy. That's light. It's a light. Thanks to it, we can see. There's nothing left in the frame because we already took it. It's a dresser. There's nothing on top. I don't have anything else and I'm pretty sure I'll need a key for this. Oh no, there's a key. Dresser key. I thought I would have needed a key to do it. There's nothing inside because I already took it. This is the mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realise she's doing that? Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on, it's not like there, there's anything here you need to impress. Anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is. Who? What? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? I think she wants to impress you. Or us. 
Ah, forget it, Jumpy. The chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. It's a light. Thanks to it, we can see. Yep. I think I've searched everything. It's a round wooden table. Anything in these panels? Nope. I think I've searched everything here. Where are you going? Um, I was thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just going to ch go check up on them. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. Alright, off to the other room. Looks like a bowl vase. Empty though. There seems to be a room on the left side of the vase. It's a tile with a black and white pattern on it. There's a square tile in this frame. It's a, it's glued in there quite well. I don't think you can take it out. This is the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in these square tiles. It's a wall covered in small square tiles. They've all got geometric shapes on them. So far it's the same as the other room. Wow, look! Junpei, there's a mushroom growing out of the wall. Um, that's a shower head. Ceiling. It's probably the shower curtain for shower curtains. Where are the curtains then? That means that if someone's taking a shower, nobody else can use the bathroom. So I don't see the problem with that. Junpei, you're a pervert. What? Some toilet paper. We've got two rolls, I guess. There are two rolls of toilet paper. One for business and one for fun. What? Is there anything in the toilet? Guess not. The tank's empty too. Hey, check this out. It's a pretty nice sofa. I know. It's a shame I can't take it back with me. Hey there, Spud, how you doing? Hehehe. <laughs> 
this is quite a bit of a different game to Dying Light. <laughs> I'm in a room that I'm trying to find clues to escape. It's an escape room I'm trying to find clues for. Well, this is a di display case. Check it out. These plates and shit look really expensive. You want to take a look? Ooh, there's one of the things that I'll need, I'm pretty sure. It's not opening. Alright, you grab the side of the table and I'll get the other. Let's smash this open. I don't think that's going to work. That looks like tempered glass. I don't think throwing a table at it is going to break it. I guess I need a key. I have a key from the other room. Damn. Guess this is the wrong key. Well, that means there's got to be another one somewhere around here. Otherwise, we aren't going to be able to open this thing. A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. I do have matches as well. I know, if I use these matches to light the candle. Lit candle. Yeah. She's, when we first met her, our character instantly called her the dancer. <laughs> I forget what we call her now. Or Lotus, that's it. So, we've got, we met nine people. One of them is already dead because we didn't follow the rules of the game. And all of them but our character has code names. We don't know any of their names except one of them, which is a girl in the next room over that we went to primary school with, essentially, elementary school. So she knows us, we know her from childhood. But none of the rest we know names of. And they've all got code names. Awesome. With the light from the candle, maybe we can take a look around uh, over there. But it gets so hot when I hold it. I want to put it down. Well, why don't you set it on top of the drawer? It's flat there. At least it won't fall over. Oh yeah, good idea. There we go. Hey, it got pretty bright. Now we can look around a little. Let's see if this, yes. Yes, it worked. This is a mirror for the dresser. Damn straight. Nothing weird about it, though. It's a chair for the dresser. It's a light, man. Can't you figure that out on your own? Hard to tell if it's burned out or not. Of course, now that we have the candle, I guess it doesn't really matter what that much anymore. It could be better. It's a... Is it a, originally a PSP game? Ported or remade for the computer in 2017. So, it is a pretty old game. Hey, where are you going, Junpei? I'm gonna go check out the next room. This candle is burning pretty damn fast. We don't have any time to waste, guys. This thing's gonna burn out in no time. Then we should look around this room now, before the candle goes out. We can examine the rest of the room later. I thought I had examined the room. 
Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? That would be if would of course be Lotus. A crazy old bat. I guess the stress was just too much for her. Did you say something? Nope, nothing. <laughs> yeah, they do make her that type of character. And then she frowns against people looking at her like that. It's a bit weird. Nope, nothing. The mirror on the dresser, it doesn't respond when I talk to it. Very rude for a mirror. Would a mirror respond to you? This area is dark. There's a picture of an old cruise ship. Is it the Titanic? Okay. I know where to do that. Where to put that? Anything under the blanket? Nope. Nothing suspicious here. Two, pill two pillows in a pile. Oh. Pile of pillows. Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Hey, calm down. Pretty much it's like that, yeah. Girl with burning red eyes stares back at me. What? Ah! Ah, I'm just messing with you. There's nothing there. Okay. Hey, what the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out. We should go see. I'm thinking it probably burnt out. There's a candlestick covered in melted wax on top of the dresser. Hey, what's this? The top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. You're right. It's all bumpy. It's a key. Let's see if this candlestick key will do anything. Yes, it opened. All right, pull that open. I've got two of them now. There has hey, to be Junpei. another one somewhere. You got a minute? Hmm? Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? Uh, do you want me to read a book? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Fair enough. Then why don't you hold on to it? <laughs> you know what I hate most in the world? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. And you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but what does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, see, each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it. Okay. And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words. Okay. Hope, faith, love, and luck. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. So, yeah. I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, all right? Here, 